I placed the 9900K on Rocket Cool's Rocket 89D lead tool. I made sure the arrows matched up properly. When they came to actually removing the IHS, I noticed that there wasn't much of a sound when it was removed. I believe it was because of the solder. And here's some close-ups. I used a plastic gift card to remove the silicone adhesive. I just went at it uh, little by little at different angles. For removing the solder, I used the tip of the gift card again, and I was surprised that this technique removed, I'd say, about 95% of the solder. I also use Rocket Cool's Quicksilver Solder Remover, which comes with uh, polish. So in total, it's supposed to be left on for 10 minutes, and here's how to agitate it. Here's how I agitated it every two minutes or so. I just wiped the rest of it off with um, paper towel soaked in alcohol. Here's another optional part. I sanded down the 9900K while it was still on the Rocket 89D lead tool. I used 400 grit, then moved up to 1000, then 2000, then finished it off with the Flitz polish. And it could have been sanded down better. But I uploaded this part of the video to show that there's some room for error if you do decide to do this optional step. Here it is after application of Flitz polish. As for liquid metal, I went with the trusty old conducto knot. So I install the chip first and then put the OC frame. One thing I do recommend is be careful with the screws because I'm pretty sure I kind of stripped mine so it's a lot harder to remove now. For actually applying the liquid metal, I think I used about like a little, a little more than a dot and I place that dot on a Q-tip and then I spray it on the actual CPU. I applied some liquid metal onto the EKWB cold plate. Make sure they're screwed on. I'd recommend screwing on the cooler in the X form, little by little, to apply as even pressure as possible. 
So here's my personal rig with the 9900K installed with the OC frame and 28 Ti. It's all being cooled by a single 240mm radiator 